I have been in quarantine for 132 days and it feels like it's been 20, but also 700 at the same time. Some days are calm, I feel like relaxing, maybe I'll do a little workout. Other days my anxiety is through the roof and I can't really bring myself to do anything but lay around and watch early 2000s chick flicks. However, today is one of those days where I was about to start lounging around, you know, not really doing much, didn't feel like working out necessarily, but I looked around my apartment and I need to get off my butt and get my act together. So that's what I'm going to be doing today and I've decided to film it for some reason. It's gonna be a lot of mundane tasks, taking out the trash, doing the dishes, maybe some laundry, just cleaning up, cleaning up my life. So everyone who may be watching this, could be five people, could be no one, just picture yourself as a friend hanging out in my apartment. You don't have to do any of the work. You can just watch me, listen to my thoughts. All right, so. All right, my first order of business is going to be doing these dishes because yikes. So let's get scrubbing. quarantine is moving in cycles for me. One week I feel one way, another week I feel another way. And in this current moment, I feel like finding more balance, drinking green smoothies, eating um, salads and sweet potatoes and trying to get more protein. But I also love having some chocolate at the end of the day. Don't get me wrong. I'm also going to take one biotin supplement. And the next order of business is wiping off this stove top, which is not looking too good. So if you don't know, I am located in Los Angeles County and I have lived here my whole life. I'm born and raised. And of course, living in California is wonderful. I love it, but it's also currently the essential epicenter of a certain virus. That's a bit um, anxiety inducing. I struggle with going on social media and seeing people who are living life like nothing is wrong. I totally understand people who have been quarantining for a really long time and they wanna just go have lunch at a restaurant and they're being safe. But there are so many um, people on my timeline who every other day or daily are going to brunch or are at the beach like having parties with friends and I'm like stop it stop it get some help I have been tested um, I made a TikTok of how I was able to get tested so if you want to go look at that lately I've been wanting to also give myself a little trim at home one of my friends um, if you're watching this hey Marisol she has been giving herself a little trim at home ever since quarantine and she's really killing it. So I think she's been using one of Brad Mondo's videos and I might just have to give that a try. So let me know if you're interested in seeing me potentially um, ruin my hair and offend my hairstylist. I think that could be really fun. Okay, I've gotten 
gotten a lot done so far. I've also gotten a little bit more disheveled and sweaty. I've gotten the kitchen area clean. We cleaned the bathroom, scrubbed all of the nooks and crannies. I made sure my bed was made and the couch is nice and tidied up but I just remembered that I really am in dire need of a car wash. But whenever you get a car wash in Los Angeles, it rains the next day, so I'm always afraid. But it's time, so I'm gonna go do that. I'll take you guys with me, and I'm also going to take out some trash on my way down to the car. Okay, I promise I was not lying. She's been a little neglected, but we're gonna go fix that. Okay, I took out the trash. I'm here in my trusty vehicle. I also need to get gas. There's my landlord. Oh, she got a haircut. Cute. Work girl. So I want to take a little detour because I want to just gab at you about how I've been spending time in quarantine. First, like many, many people, I've been playing Animal Crossing. I love it. It's so fun. I've been playing Animal Crossing for a long time. I remember having a sleepover at my friend's house in like fourth grade and I would play on her pink DS and it was a blast. If you want, you can come visit me on my island. That would be super cool. So I've also been trying to read a lot more. I have a Kindle and I've been reading off and on. When I first got it, I read four books in like a week. I was kind of going sicko mode, but I slowed down on it just because like I said before, my quarantine mood goes in cycles. Probably in a couple days, I'll be all about reading again. I've read a lot of like saucy dramas, which is really entertaining. In terms of movies and shows, I've mostly been watching older stuff or stuff that I've already seen just because it brings me a sense of comfort and sort of a nostalgic feeling. I made a huge list of everything I started watching since quarantine, since March, and it's on my notes app on my phone and I just keep adding to it. One, Schitt's Creek. That show is so funny. It's on Netflix. It gives me a really like cozy vibe, but it's also so silly and fun. And I still have not watched the last season that came out earlier this year because I'm not in the mood to cry about it. I really like that show. I am a huge podcast fan and I love listening to murder mysteries, conspiracy theories. Oh my gosh, horses! Ah! How fun, they're riding horses. Anyways, I really love My Favorite Murder. I love To Live and Die in LA is a really good podcast that people don't really talk enough about. I love listening to What We Said podcast, which is not a murder mystery podcast. Another way I like to entertain myself when I'm at home is by doing a puzzle, which sounds like an activity they would do in a retirement home, but it's just therapeutic sometimes. I just planted some basil and it's sprouting. I'm really excited about that. I feel like I'm really just a 60 year old at heart. You know, puzzles, growing basil, cleaning my apartment. Hello? What was that? My car just made a scary sound. We're going back to the car wash. All right, my gas is pumping. So one other thing I wanted to talk about is exercise during quarantine. I feel like at the start of quarantine, everyone was like, all right, gotta get in shape for summer. And now there's nothing to prepare for, but it's still super important to stay active. So I've been doing some at-home workouts. Shout out MadFit on YouTube, she's awesome. Chloe Tang, of course, and that's been great. If you're wondering about dance, yes, I still dance. If you didn't know, I am a professional dancer. In California, in Los Angeles, studios were open for a short amount of time, but I believe they're closed again because of the spread of the virus. And I've taken a few online virtual classes, which are cool, but it's not exactly the same. So if you personally want to see more dance videos, they're unfortunately going to be postponed for the near future. And I hope you can understand, but I am still dancing. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, dude. Okay, so I'm home now, and I think I pretty much covered everything I wanted to talk about while I was driving. But if there's something else you would like to know, or if you have another question, 
leave it in the comments and maybe I'll do a Q&A. I'm kind of cringing at that, but I don't know. I never said I was a YouTuber. I'm just trying out something new to have some fun in quarantine. So yeah, let me know. Okay, so I was just prepping for tomorrow's Zoom class that I'm teaching. If any of my dancers happen to be watching this, and then I was, you know, scrolling on social media a little bit, sending some messages, replying to some texts. And I think I'm gonna start cooking dinner already. And I think I want to try these. And this is a plant-based power burger, organic burger patties, high protein. And I'm gonna put it on just regular bread. I don't have buns. And then I will also make some sweet potato fries. Cause that sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna start cooking all of that and probably put on a show or a video to be in the background. I'm also gonna crack open a mini Diet Coke because they're just so cute. Uh -huh. 